The Chief Justice said the new law provides for the establishment of the Office of the Judiciary and is soon to be signed by the President before the Justice Minister decides when it would come into effect. This will mean that the administrative work of the judiciary that has been done by the Justice Ministry will now be the responsibility of the new office to strengthen the independence of the judiciary. And it's for us now to ensure that we work very, very hard to make a success of this new office. And we must work as a team. And I'm so proud that all the key stakeholders, all the people, that are actually working towards one common objective are represented in this room. And that shows that if the, His Worship here, or all, even all the three magistrates combined were to work as hard as they wished. But on the other hand, the colleagues from the prosecution side perhaps are not bringing their side of the bargain to the, ta onto the table. So the magistrates would not succeed. The office will have its own accounting officer. The Chief Justice explained to the members of the new office that the law would allow them to have one voice on issues affecting them. He emphasized that the primary purpose of judicial officials is to serve the community. See, the accused person who is sitting there in custody there uh, is innocent until their worship here decides that that man or woman is guilty and therefore he must go to prison or he must pay a fine or so much or must save a period or so much. But even then, he or she is entitled to dignity. And it's the responsibility of all of us to ensure that that, person, that dignity that the person deserves is actually accorded to him or her. Justice staff at Katima Mulilo raised concern about the shortage of clerical, interpreter, and other essential personnel, as well as the limited number of courtrooms, including the building that is under construction.